Hello guys, in this video, we will discuss about the problem related to the Boolean algebra. Here the problem is, if f of a, b, c equal to b dash plus a dash c dash plus a, c, then find f dash a, b, c. Here f of a, b, c means it is a Boolean function, which is in the form of SOP, that is sum of the products, then find the f dash a, b, c. f dash means complement of the Boolean function. Okay, now to find the f dash a, b, c, first let us take the given Boolean function f of a comma b comma c is equal to, this is b dash plus a dash c dash plus a c. Now to find the f dash a, b, c, apply complement on both sides. f dash a, b, c equal to b dash plus a dash c dash plus a c whole dash, which is becomes as using De Morgan's laws here. Whenever any Boolean function is having whole bar, then it is better to use the De Morgan's laws. Okay, De Morgan's laws. There are two types. The first one is x plus y whole dash is equal to x dash dot y dash. The second one is x dot y whole dash equal to x dash plus y dash. We can use any of these two equations. Now, it is in the form of first equation, right? So that you should think it as this is x, this as y, this as z. Here we have three variables, okay? That is the three products. Now it should be written as here it is x dash. x dash means what is x? x means b dash. Okay, it should be written in the form of b dash whole dash according to the de Morgan's class dot. This is y dash. y dash means a dash c dash whole dash dot. This is a c z a c whole dash. You can use any number of variables. Okay, now it becomes as b dash whole dash is b. Now again, you should apply the de Morgan's class because a da, a dash dot c dash whole dash wherever you have whole dash you have to apply the de Morgan's now use this second equation which is in the form of x y whole dash equal to x dash plus y dash now you should think a dash as x c dash as y okay then it becomes as x dash it means a dash whole dash plus c dash whole dash okay now you think it as x and y then it becomes as a dash okay plus c dash now it becomes as b dot this is a dash whole dash is a this is c dash whole dash is c then the second term is a dash plus c dash now we should multiply these two sums this becomes as b into a a dash plus a c dash plus a dash c plus c c dash. Now it becomes as a a dash its value is zero, c c dash value also zero. So the remaining values are b into this is a c dash plus a dash c. Now we should multiply with the b this whole bracket term. Then it becomes as a b c dash plus a dash b c. This is our answer. Okay, so now let us see the options. Here it is a, a dash b c. This is first term. The second term is a b c dash. So the answer is d. Okay.